Mountains, not including the Santa Monica range. We'll look further ahead. Your exclusive five-day weather forecast is coming up in just a few minutes. That's at 245. Some temperatures right now. Redondo Beach is at 59 degrees. Again, we've got rain falling in Van Nuys, 47 there. Uh, partly sunny, 57 downtown Los Angeles at 237. We finally have a definition for herd immunity from someone qualified to define it. Dr. Anthony Fauci. He says the U.S. will be at herd immunity in the coronavirus pandemic when 70 to 85 percent of Americans have received both doses of the vaccine or one dose if they're getting the Johnson & Johnson shot. But Dr. Fauci also says we don't have to wait for full herd immunity to see the benefit. So you can get 20, 30, 40, 50 percent of the people vaccinated not yet twice meet the empiric number that we're talking about and still get a very favorable effect from vaccines. So when will we reach herd immunity? Dr. Fauci says that the rate of vaccines are being rolled out, likely around the start of autumn. COVID vaccine cards are supposed to prove you have the shot, but criminals are already cashing in. The card is the key to the kingdom of returning to that land of normalcy. But a simple paper card is easy for some to fake. Use it to print up fake cards. And Professor Bill Christie of Governor State University says there's another problem. As of right now, copy one of those cards does not appear to be illegal. So we do not even have a sanction if somebody were to do that. Some countries are already developing digital cards. That's the board for CBS News correspondent Amy McCormick. Flu season would be wrapping up right about now in a typical year, but medical experts say it's basically vanished across the country, replaced by COVID-19. Dr. Mary Ann Laletta specializes in treating elderly patients in New Jersey. She says there are some ideas that might explain the disappearance of the flu. I do believe that the masks and the hand washing are big factors as well as the social distancing. However, there are other factors at play. And, you know, we'll never know which one has a greatest impact because I don't know that anyone has done their study. Um, you know, remote work, school being closed, decreased global travel, decreased capacity in places where people do gather. But like I said, more people might have been, might have gotten a flu shot too since more vaccine doses were distributed in the fall. Health officials have said they were worried about a pandemic of flu and COVID, but it never happened. The pilot program now underway to find out if school districts in California are interested in using rapid COVID testing. The antigen test being used involves a nasal swab which results in 